Hi guys. Thought I'd do a video in the daytime. I took uh, the video I made today. Today is Wednesday, if I remember right. No, today's Thursday. So today's video took three and a half hours to load. Uh, yesterday's was about an hour and a half. So it's doubled the the time that I would load up the videos. <clears throat> so I'm gonna everything goes right, we'll see. Uh, think about doing these things in the daytime and then I can put them up during the night whenever I get up and or early in the morning. And uh, it's nice out here right now, so we'll see. We'll see how it comes out. See if I can get across this. Well, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> I did get across. Uh, didn't wear my mud boots, so I should have done that. That's all right. It's been a while since we had rain. I figured this would have dried up out here by now, but nope, not yet. We did have a lot. It's still coming out of the ground in places. So I hope y'all are having a good day. It's breezy. We got nice, clear blue skies here. Angel's coming with me today. She likes to bail out and leave me. I get back here and get to doing some stuff and look around for my pup, and she's not with me. <laughs> These flowers. Call a buttercup around here I think I'll go up through here today see what we got I'm reading in 1st Timothy chapter 6 getting the references tied to that uh, I've got to get down sit down and do some more writing I'm about to caught up to where I was at uh, I like to stay a couple of days ahead, but it's been the last three or four days I've not been able to have the time to write to look things up. I've had other things pressing, but that's all right. Let's go up through here. Maybe if I sneak up here, we can run across something. Well, you never know. What's out here? We're going to turn those two turkeys loose, I believe, and let them run. They've been in the pen long enough. They should know where to go when it gets dark. I know chickens are like that. You lock chickens up in a, a pen for about a week, and then when you turn them out, they know where to go for protection at night, and they will always go back to that, which is pretty neat. Wow, thought I seen something up there. May apples are still out. We've not found very many mushrooms this year. Uh, they're out there. I've not been one to look for them. I'm, I've never been one to hunt for mushrooms. <clears throat> but there's a lot of people that do. And they enjoy them. 
Our son-in-law does that. He likes to go out after mushrooms and he'll go to the timber, seem like every day, see if he can see some mushrooms. But deer and turkey like them too. So, I heard something up there. They will sit so still you can't see them. That's a rabbit right here. There's somewhere I've seen him coming down that tree. He climbs down, he walk up that tree, that fallen tree, and get up into the top of it. I've seen him right up there, the top of that before. And they'll sit down in one spot until their nerves can't handle it, and then they'll bail and run. <laughs> Pretty nice. If you went down through here, uh, it opens up down at the bottom of this to a little uh, grassy area and then it goes to the creek. And then our home is right there through that. So it takes a while to get up here from there. But uh, find some place to sit down. I keep talking about them one-legged uh, milking stools that I used to make. It looks to me like I got to start doing them again. Scatter them out through the timber so that when we're walking we can just sit down and put a video together, visit, and enjoy it. You know? That's what we want to do. But let's see what I can find over here. That might work. I'll come back in here and see. Set you right there. Bend that around. Let's see. Hmm. Get this out of the way. Maybe. That's not it. Which one is it? <laughs> well, hi. See, I get out here. Let's see what we got. All right, let's see what we have here. Where am I at? First Timothy six verse twelve. All right, so let me move this little branch out of the way. I'm gonna do it without disturbing the the video. I just got my telephone, this is what I put these on, and I've got I use the the WhatsApp. Where's that video? Right here it is. To load them up. Alright, so for those of you that think about doing videos, the WhatsApp helps a lot as far as getting the getting them put up and put scriptures on the screen. Which I like putting scriptures on the screen instead of writing them out down below. It takes me a long time to write things out. I'm not a I don't type. I, I hunt. Take my finger and I just, you know, just sit there and I'll, I'll hunt and find. <laughs> so, so it is. All right, here we go. We're First Timothy six twelve, and how long? You know, I'm nine minutes into this thing. Guys, sorry, it's long. Let's see what we got. All right. Contend the ideal contest of faith. Get hold of Eonian life for which you were called and avow the ideal avow in the sight of many witnesses. Now, every contender is controlling himself in all things. They, indeed, then, that they may be obtaining a corruptible wreath, yet we an incorruptible. Now then, thus am I racing, not as dubious, Thus in my boxing, not as punching the air, but I am belaboring my body and leading it into slavery. At least somehow, when heralding to others, I may become disqualified. In love unfeigned, in the word of truth, in the power of God, through the implements of righteousness of the right hand, 
and of the left. For walking in flesh, we are warring according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not fleshly, but powerful to God towards the pulling down of bulwarks, pulling down reckonings, and every height of evaluating, elevating, elevating itself against the knowledge of God, and leading into captivity every apprehension into the obedience of Christ. For the rest, brethren mine, be invigorated in the Lord and the might of His strength. Put on the panoply of God to enable you to stand up to the stratagems of the adversary. For it is not ours to wrestle with blood and flesh, but with the sovereignties, with the authorities, with the world mights of this darkness, with spiritual forces of wickedness among the celestials. Therefore, take up the panoply of God that you may be able to withstand in the wicked day and having effected all to stand. Stand then girded about your loins with truth, with the crash of righteousness put on, and your feet sandaled with the readiness of the evangel, of peace with all taking up the large shield of faith, by which you will be able to extinguish all the fiery arrows of the wicked one and receive the helmet of salvation and the sword of spirit, which a declaration of God during every prayer and petition, be praying on every occasion in spirit, being vigilant also with all perseverance and petition concerning all saints. Yet we, being of the day, may be sober, putting on the crash of faith and love and the helmet of expectation of salvation. For God did not appoint us to indignation, but to the procuring of salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. This charge I am committing to you, child Timothy, according to the preceding prophecies over you, that in them you may be warring the ideal warfare. I have contended the ideal contest I have finished my career. I have kept the faith. Not that I already obtained it or am already perfected, yet I am pursuing. If I may be grasping also that for which I was grasped also by Christ Jesus. Brethren, not as yet am I reckoning myself to have it grasped, but yet one thing, forgetting indeed those things which are behind, yet stretching out to those in front toward the goal in my pursuing for the prize of God's calling in Christ Jesus. To be doing good acts, to be rich in ideal acts, to be liberal contributors, treasuring up for us, for themselves, an ideal foundation for that which is impending, that they may get a hold of life, really. Now, we are aware that God is working all together for the good of those who are loving God, who are called according to His purpose, that whom He foreknew, He designates beforehand. Also to be conformed to the image of His Son, for Him to be firstborn among many brethren. Now, whom He designates beforehand, these He calls also. And whom He calls, these He justifies now, whom he justifies, these he glorifies. It is that he should be making known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy, which he makes ready before for glory, us, whom he calls not only out of the Jews, but all out of the nations also. And let the peace of Christ be arbitrating in your hearts, for which you are called also in one body, and become thankful. You to be walking worthily of God, who calls you into his own kingdom and glory, into which he also calls us through our evangel, for the procuring of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the court of the power of God, who saves us and calls us with a holy calling, not in accord with our acts, but in accord with his own purpose, and the grace which is given to us, in Christ Jesus before times eonian. 
If ever you should be avowing with your mouth the declaration that Jesus is Lord and should be believing in your heart that God rouses him from among the dead, you shall be saved. For with a heart it is believed for righteousness, yet with a mouth it is avowed for salvation. I am charging you in the sight of God, who is vivifying all, and of Jesus Christ, who testifies in the ideal avowal before Pilate, Pontius Pilate, that you keep this precept unspotted, irrehensible, unto the advent of our Lord Christ Jesus. Now that's the references to 1 Timothy 6, verse 12. All right, so I'll put that rascal up. We won't add anything to Scripture. Put that up. All right. Let me get you back out of this tree. Get you up out of there. <laughs> now, that wasn't so bad. Got you put in there. Huh. That was a good spot right there. Yeah. So, so it is. Yep, it's going to be an awesome day. I think I'll see if I can remember to do these. During the daytime, we won't have to wait all day to get a video up. For some reason, our videos really slow down, the internet has. So, we'll see. Right? We shall see. Let's go see what God's got. Y'all ready? It'll be an awesome day. I appreciate you guys. I really do. You guys are awesome. Let's go see what God's got. I'll talk to you all tomorrow. See you then.